We're back. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start again, shall we? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Um, we're just going to chat about what's going on in cartooning, caricature, um, what's up with Cartoon Mark, and being a homeowner, preparing for winter, and uh, the day job. Uh, got a lot more requests for some of these talking videos, so I'm about to go on a quick walk, so I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Always get inspired by other artists who are other creators, whatever you do, who are better than you. And uh, this gets me going every morning, especially from Tom Richmond. For Mark, Mort Drucker told me, aim high in my work. Keep doing that. Let's do that. Uh, in upstate New York, let's go outside the art studio here to the outdoors and have a little chit chat. Where, yeah, you need a jacket and a hoodie today in upstate New York. First, let's uh, talk about what's going on with the cartooning. I have a caricature gig today from 1.30 to 5.30. It's on a lake. That's pretty cool. And it's going to be chilly. Um, they're going to have bounce houses and everything. It's for like a camp, like a Halloween uh, day camp for kids. That's like their end of the year celebration. So we got that going on. We got gigs, gigs, gigs. <laughs> All through the end of September here and into October. I got a breast cancer event uh, like a block party i'm doing and then i got the punk rock flea market i'm doing at empire live in albany look that up october 23rd if you're in the area come say hi um and then a few odds and ends um i got a theater gig like inside of a, a, a um, like a playhouse theater that's going to be cool. But the, the gig today, it's an hour and 14 minutes drive one way. So I don't usually do gigs or events that are that far away. I just don't. Um, that's my limit of how far I will travel. But being an event artist, you need to charge for travel. And that's what I did. And that's what they paid. And I'm happy. And they're going to be really happy when I get there and draw those cartoon fun caricatures so you know travel fee very important as an artist um i've been burned a lot in my beginning caricature career not knowing how to charge for that or not knowing to even charge for that so that's that um and as we get into the fall these caricature events in upstate New York dry up and there is not much going on. There is indoors. They kind of move to indoors. So I do have a couple regulars. I have a couple fire department holiday banquets that I usually do. So that's good to depend on that. And uh, the occasional holiday party, corporate party as well. So that's good. But what I do in winter is when the caricatures slow down I, I do what i really love and that's uh single panel gag cartoons and uh painting as well i'll do my painting of weird abstract faces so the seasons of life you gotta adjust accordingly you know so busy caricature event next all through like the next three or four weeks so we're gonna hit that uh what's been going on with the house or being a homeowner, as you can see, I have uh, bundled up here. And you got to make sure your heater's ready, your boilers are ready and serviced. Thanks to my stepson, Daniel, we got that done. So there's no surprises. It just kicked on because I woke up and it was uh, 48 degrees outside. And about it was like 62 degrees inside the house. So I pushed it up to 65 and it kicked on and... No problems, no leaks, no nothing so far. So, fingers crossed. 
few other things I got to do as a homeowner. Take your air conditioners out. I'm going to do that. And a few other things. I got to have my buddy come and repoint up my chimney, which you can't see, with uh, concrete and cement before the, the, the frost comes, you know. Got to do that. And uh, rubber coat the flat part of my roof. See, I don't do ladders anymore, so I have my buddy do it. So we like to just, these are the things you got to do with an old 115-year-old house. And that's about it. And the day job of utility locating is in full swing. And it's go, it's always go, it's very fast paced. But right now there's a big push for, uh, to get all the jobs done before winter hits. I've been swamped with that. And there's no let up in it. So I'm pretty shot at the end of the day at 4 o'clock, like when I get home. It's tough. I don't even want to draw sometimes, but I have to push through it to do it. You know, so uh, the day job sucks a lot out of me. That's what's going on with Cartoon Mark. Shout out to the Inspirational Nomad for doing that video of me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll put that link in the description later. But right now, we're going to go do some self-care and get our walk on. Get that blood flowing. And then I'm going to have a little breakfast and then uh, head out to my caricature event. And that's like a full day. I won't be home though, like 7 o'clock. And that's cool. That's what I do. And tomorrow's mom and dad's uh, 52nd wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Actually, Monday is, but they're celebrating it uh, tomorrow. All right. Happy Saturday. Go enjoy it. Do your thing. If you're a creator, you got to push through it, you know. Go and do what you got to do, you know. But to wrap up, uh, yeah, caricature events are busy right up until mid-October for me. Then it quiets down a little bit. Being a homeowner, taking the air conditioners out, got this, the heaters serviced, uh, mine's kicking on right now, and it's on, and it's warmed up the house, and I'm happy. Got a nice warm house. And now we're going to go, you know, the day job is crazy right now, but we're pushing through that. Not my favorite thing to do in the world lately, but it's important, so now about to go do some self-care and get my walk on so that's about it i gotta run thanks for tuning in we'll see you